So I've got my coffee. I've got the questions. It's an AMA. I have not done an AMA in almost three or four years. So you sent us a lot of questions, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much uh, that you want to know so many things about IGAN and me personally. Uh, but we've picked a lot. I believe we've picked about 40 questions. So we are going to go through them really quickly and uh, answer them. We also have the winners to announce and we might be doing another giveaway in this video as well. I might change my mind by the end of the video. Who knows? Also, I feel if I start ranting, just press forward because I'll, I might be ranting at a lot of these questions. I haven't seen them all, but uh, let's see. Let's see how it starts. Initially, we are doing questions from Instagram because most of the questions came from Instagram. Uh, we also posted on Twitter as well as uh, the YouTube community page. If you guys uh, missed out on uh, sending us questions, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and make sure uh, you actively check our community page because we will be doing more of these and we will be also hosting giveaways in all of these places. So you wanna be a part of that, you can go and uh, check all of these places out. Again, I've already started ranting before the first question, so let's get started. First question comes from Fahad. Hello Fahad, how are you? When will I get a chance to buy the iGAN red cap? It has been a long wait. Actually, uh, merch has been really difficult to do in India. Although we've been reached out by a lot of companies who wanted to work with us to do co-partnered merch. Uh, we didn't like the quality, we didn't like the print. In certain cases, when we got the t-shirts manufactured, I didn't like the final product. So there's been many cases that we've spent a ton of money on making the right kind of merch. I don't want to give you guys, I don't want iGAN people. I don't want the team IGAN to buy something and then not be happy with it. So if you want to support this channel or you just want to buy some merch and represent IGAN, it should be the kind of merch that you want to wear, not the kind of merch that if you buy or like wear a crappy t-shirt or crappy hat. So if I do caps, I want them to be really high quality caps. So still working on them. T-shirts and masks and things like that are done and mostly within a couple of weeks we should have um, some sort of a merch store up. So merch drop coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Let's move on to the next question. How's your health now? What's your new year's resolution? Well, I don't know if you're asking about uh, last year or if you're asking about my long-term health. So last year I really started to work out, but then I was uh, uh, infected by uh, the virus that should not be named uh, because of YouTube policies. Uh, but uh, I have recovered from that and I have restarted my workouts and I want to get back into fitness. Uh, Initially, I had a major issue with my back, which was an unrelated accident, which is why I gained a lot of weight. And after that, I developed some certain other complications with my health. All of that are resolved. I had a minor surgery as well. All of that was fixed. And last year, finally, I started to get into workouts and I got involved with a trainer and a nutritionist and all of those things. But then it happened. Oops, I named it. Uh, but now I've recovered and uh, this year my basic this thing is to focus a lot on my health and hopefully get back into shape uh, because uh, I don't enjoy being like this either but I have a lot of energy now and that's a good thing and which is why you're seeing more IGAN content as well. Delhi mein sach mein itni thand zada hai kya? It's really cold, bahut thand hai and uh, in fact we just had the heat on, we just turned it off uh so it is quite cold it, it's random because it gets warm and then it suddenly gets really cold so freak heat wave and freak not heat wave freak cold wave but uh it's quite cold how do you always maintain a quality with standard so in, when i started iGAN the whole purpose of starting iGAN was there was nothing with good quality uh visuals and good quality content and that is the reason i do iGAN it's it's not for uh, the views it's not for Anything else, the reason was that I enjoy technology and I wanted people to experience that in the best possible way. And uh, that is why I maintain my quality because so there are certain times we remake videos, we cancel projects, we redo everything because there's a certain mess in the quality and I don't like that. And that's why we maintain that quality. How much time take to a one video shoot? So basically what you're asking is how much time does it take to shoot one video? Uh, it can be anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of days to sometimes even weeks. It depends on the project, the amount of research that it takes. There are certain things like if you're doing a car video, uh, it takes a long time because we have lots of things that we do. We have to find locations, we have to take drone shots, we have to take permissions. A lot is involved in uh, creating a really high quality video. Um, 
for certain projects that we do in the studio, like something like this, a couple of hours is uh, what it takes, uh, but uh, sometimes it can be longer. So it totally depends on what video we are making and then what kind of equipment we are using, what kind of editing we are doing, all of that. Uh, it's very variable, so I can't really answer that question in one simple answer. Are you planning to launch a separate iGAN Hindi channel besides the Shorts one? Right now we are experimenting with the iGAN Shorts Hindi. Also, by the way, if you haven't go, gone and subscribed to the iGAN Shorts channel, you should go do that right now. Uh, it's basically called iGAN Shorts and it's primarily going to be in Hindi as well as in English. It's not going to be Hindi only. Uh, but it's an experiment. We want to see if shorts content is going to be the future. Short, form uh, short format is uh, really important right now. So we're trying. If uh, there is traction, if people like our content, uh, then we'll continue and then we'll possibly in the future see what next we want to do. You guys have a job opening. Uh, well, actually, we are always hiring. So if you have any real skills, except for the fact that uh, you are on the internet all day, if you have any real skills and want to apply, you can go to jobs at igan.in. Don't spam it with fake random emails. Send real job applications because people who filter it don't want to waste their time. Want to meet you once? Well, we did a meetup a couple of years back. A lot of people came to that. Uh, I'm sure some of them are in the comments. So leave a comment below if you were at the meetup. But uh, we're planning to do another meetup. Uh, of course, the lockdown and stuff has been happening for the past couple of years. And this year, if everything clears out, hopefully it will in a couple of months, I can plan another meetup and uh, hopefully have a really nice uh, sort of sit down and have a conversation with a bunch of you. I want to know why iGAN is so underrated than other channels who don't have nice content. Well, this is sort of a long answer and uh, the reality is I don't feel that we are underrated. There's a couple of reasons why iGAN's channel sort of gets left behind. A, we don't do uh, regional content, so we don't do Hindi and uh, we don't uh, do all sorts of things and we try to focus on quality so we can't upload as frequently as some of the other people. Also, there is a lot of uh, nonsense going on on YouTube and I don't really want to get into it too much, but there is a lot of, for the lack of a better word, fraud happening from a lot of other uh, content creators and uh, without getting into it too much, uh, we think we are at a good position and I rather grow slowly with quality followers then grow quickly with fill in the blanks. Rig Me Up Series 2, uh, when really waiting for it? Well, actually I wanted to do multiple Rig Me Ups uh, in India. The problem is that sponsors in India are really quite bad and finding the right kind of sponsor for uh, a series like Rig Me Up is really difficult. Apart from Rig Me Up, I actually did a very interesting project where I created some gaming PCs and gave them away to educational institutes, uh, institutes that were working with uh, underprivileged kids. So we gave like really high-end 3080 Ti's, or we built five gaming machines. In one case, we made a 3090 based gaming machine that runs about five uh, machines in itself. So. It was a very interesting project, but it was really difficult to get companies to provide stuff for that because uh, they want something in return. They want us to make a content piece. They want to show the world uh, what we were doing. We didn't want to do that. We just wanted to give away uh, uh, machines because at the time when there was peak lockdown, these people were really missing out. They were missing out on any kind of education. They were missing out on any kind of entertainment. They didn't. Some of these people don't even have uh, mobile phones. So we helped wherever we could and I bought as many machines as I could at that time. Uh, and I bought lots of graphics card, overpaid for them, but I got these machines to the places. But it was really difficult to get anybody. I spoke to NVIDIA, they weren't willing to help. I spoke to a lot of major uh, manufacturers, ASUS, MSI. I spoke to a bunch of people, nobody was willing to help uh, unless we made some videos about it. And I didn't want to make a video about sort of showing off uh, what we were doing and trying to get some sympathy points from people because I really wanted to help and I didn't want any sympathy points. And that's why Rig Me Up was something that re it really, because these were the people that we wanted to work with for Rig Me Up, but because they were not willing to come forward, it, it showed the kind of morality that the brand has and we sort of stepped away from it. Uh, but uh, Rig Me Up will come back uh, and this time around hopefully we'll do it with partners uh, that would like to support a cause like Rig Me Up or we'll do it ourselves. So that's the thought process right now, but we are working towards it, so it'll be back soon. As a student, I want to earn some money for my expenses. What could you recommend to do? Do anything, do any kind of work. Any work is good work. If as a student, you have time to 
clean for somebody and they pay you. It depends on how much money you want to make and what skill you have. It could be anything. You want to work at McDonald's, earn some money on the side, you can do that. Like no work is bad work as long as it's giving you or teaching you a skill. It can be anything from cleaning something to selling something to uh, just becoming a creator. Anyone's doing everything right now. So don't think of finding a work very specific. When you start off, it should be any kind of work that will help you grow as a person. Which is your most used gadget except your phone? This is a difficult question to answer because uh, there's so many things. So uh, it could be, I don't know. It, it possibly is my television. If you call that a gadget, Apple TV, um, HomePods, listen to music a lot, AirPods, uh, I don't know, mostly headphones, I guess, iPad, <laughs> there's so many things. I don't think there's any most used gadget except for a phone, to be quite honest. Does Bharat speak Hindi? If then, if yes, then want some clips in that video. I don't speak Hindi and I can't speak Hindi and I can't speak coffee. Starbucks ne sponsor nahi kari hai. So let's move on to the next question. What do you expect from your fans? Wait, I was taking a sip. So in general, what do you expect from your fans? This also is a very interesting question because first of all, when I started again, I didn't even think that I would have fans. I thought that I'll have viewers and that is why I grew again the way that I did because I never thought of wanting to become famous or wanting to become somebody who had fans or followers or things like that have never mattered to me like people constantly ask me i think i think igans uh, subscribers care more about the subscriber count than i care about the subscriber count they constantly ask why your channel is not growing why your subscriber numbers are not growing i don't really care i care about creating a really good quality piece of content and then if people watch it and it helps them or if they like the content, that's what matters to me the most. What I expect now from the, the fan community that we have is to support good creators, support people who are honest, support people who really need your help and uh, support people who are new and upcoming and create really good content. Don't just go after people because they abuse or they promise you something and then they don't deliver. These kind of people should be removed from the internet and they create a really toxic environment and keep toxic people away from you. And as far as IGAN is concerned, uh, as long as you want to be a part of the community, uh, be nice people, be nice to others. That's all I expect from IGAN fans. I don't expect any, I don't have any expectations from the viewers or the fans of IGAN. There was a time in the middle when you stopped YouTube, what motivated you to come back? Well, actually, I never wanted to stop YouTube. Uh, the reason was uh, that I mentioned earlier in this video that I had an injury in the back and uh, that almost uh, took a year off my life. It caused a lot of other health issues and I really missed uh, being on IGAN and we had a massive team before that. We had almost 40 people working at uh, the IGAN network. We had several websites. We had writers, we had editors, we had producers, we had a whole team. And we had to shut down everything because I was basically gone for almost a year or more. And I always wanted to get back to IGAN. It's just that I've never been able to get back to that same position, but hopefully things will be different this year. And we have a few surprises upcoming in the coming uh, months. So let's see if everything pans out right, we will have more updates for you. More auto content, also predictions on iPhone SE 3. More auto content actually coming next week. Next week? Next week. Next week. More auto content coming next week and uh, predictions on the iPhone SE 3. It might be more expensive. We might actually see a Face ID iPhone SE for the first time, I feel. You guys have been there 10 years. What's the change you guys have seen in the YouTube space? <laughs> I sort of answered this already, but there's been so many, the problem with YouTube is that it doesn't really care about quality creators. The fact that they removed the dislike counter is one of those. I'm sure you've seen several YouTubers talk about this. Uh, the, the fact that they removed the dislike count means for a creator like us, we have a upwards of 95% like to dislike ratio. That means that most of our content gets a lot of likes. So as a viewer, you get to see that ratio 
plus ratio. <laughs> so you get to see that ratio and uh, you get to decide whether or not that content piece is genuine, that content piece is good. And uh, if you see a lot of dislikes like you did with the YouTube Rewind or some of the other fancy videos that got a lot of dislikes, you get to know that this content piece is bad. You might end up watching that content piece more to see why it got so many dislikes, but you will dislike it because you see the reason for the dislikes and then you can choose visually because of the community, you can choose whether this is something that you want to watch or avoid. And removing that shows that YouTube doesn't really care about the quality or the type of content that's being put out as long as there are enough people watching on YouTube and obviously it's a big money business and uh, YouTube makes a ton of money from advertising and advertisers don't want to advertise on videos that get a lot of dislikes. So it all plays in. Um, another thing that started to happen that I mentioned a little bit earlier is that brands pay a ton of money now to YouTubers to shill their, con uh, to shill their things. It used to happen earlier as well. It happens a lot more now. And uh, despite what everyone says, uh, if you think about it, just go back to the time at the beginning of the lockdown when the whole uh, boycott China thing happened. The largest voices of boycott China are actually today brand ambassadors for Chinese brands. You will literally see them in ads every day. So think about that. Think about how that concept of mainstream media where you're not accountable for what you say is now on YouTube. And that is a change that I hate because there was a time when as a creator, you really cared about what you were putting out as content. And we come from that time and we've been here for a long time and we plan to stay for a long time as well. But if YouTube continues down this path, uh, we've honestly considered moving to other platforms and we might. Uh, despite the viewership or subscriber base or whatever, uh, those who care about good content will follow us and possibly help us grow a community elsewhere if uh, YouTube continues down this path. <sighs> See, I told you I'll rant. <laughs> Do you think Indian phone manufacturers will bounce back against foreign manufacturers? What Indian manufacturers? The problem is that brands that could afford to uh, manufacture in India and really push uh, the process and really get involved didn't do it. Micromax is one of those examples where they had enough money at one point of time to set up a manufacturing facility, to set up R&D in India and make like really uh, innovative smartphones in India and they didn't do it. So the problem is that we lack initiative um, and while in other spaces you'll see a lot of Indian brands flourishing, I feel in the tech space, we suffer because the best tech minds tend to leave India and get jobs with uh, other tech companies. And uh, people who can start something like this either don't have the money or the means or the investment. So it takes a lot of stuff. It takes a lot of money to set up manufacturing. And people who do have the means don't want to do it. And people who don't have the means want to do it can't find the means. So I, if, if I tomorrow decide to manufacture smartphones, the millions and billions of dollars that it'll take, I don't have that, despite what you might believe. <laughs> Why again content is not coming regularly? I don't know what's coming. Com <laughs> uh, actually, I again content is fairly regular now. So if you're not getting notifications, please follow us on our social media channels because we will uh, push uh, notifications there because YouTube kind of sucks right now and they don't care about uh, quality content creators. They only care about people who scream and shout and tell you lies and create clickbait content. So if you want notifications from iGAN, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, uh, or anywhere else, Facebook even, to get notifications for YouTube video. We are uploading content frequently. We'll also be starting back uh, written content and lots of other stuff. We're working towards it. So please stay tuned and follow us everywhere else because notifications somehow don't work on YouTube anymore. Why is the iGAN intro missing? Feels weird, but should be back. Actually, this is really interesting. So iGAN intro is missing because we are trying something different, but what do you think our intro should be? Actually, every one of you watching right now, leave a comment in the comment section below as to what line I should use in the intro. And if I use your line in the next video, uh, I will send you something, a gift, a really cool gift. You will enjoy it. What do you like the most and a thing that you don't like in your Panamera Turbo? What I like most is uh, the driving feel. I think this is one of the best driving cars. It feels amazing. It sounds amazing. Um, 
the the steering wheel is really connected to the road and uh, when you're driving you feel like you have total control over the car and the car really responds well to you so that is one thing i absolutely love about porsches and the panamera turbo i feel even better than the 911 and that, that might be a controversial hot take uh, but i I've, i've driven the 911 i've driven the macan Por uh, panamera and uh, cayenne i've driven all of their cars mostly even the boxsters and i feel that the panamera turbo drives the best it's the most comfortable to drive and it's really connected so that's what i like what i don't like is that in india you don't have good quality service there's no parts available i have to wait for months it's been 6 months that i've been waiting for a component of my car it's still on the way and i'm sitting here most of the people in the service center have question now so i have to wait till all of that gets resolved before i can take my car in okay so we are moving to twitter questions so We've got to see your studio tour, your gear and gadgets, and more of your YouTube life. We'd love to have a sneak peek in your everyday life, day routines, weekends, and everything other from tech life. Love from Hyderabad. Uh, love back to Hyderabad. Um, as much as I like doing vlogs, and a lot of people have appreciated it, right now my life isn't exciting. I feel enough to give you a behind the scenes. Uh, maybe later in the year, if things start to change a little bit. in fact we have like i mentioned a couple of interesting projects coming up and if i feel that they are good enough to do like a behind the scenes a vlog or whatever of and they're non tech related uh, we might include those as well how come apple got the indian regulatory approval for ecg for apple watches as samsung is yet to get the same for their watches first time first out yeah where is tech sofa it's in my room Well again it was a project that we thought uh, would do well and uh, while a lot of people really like the concept um, I I didn't see a lot of traction on it if you want us to bring tech sofa back we can we are actually working on a different sort of a podcast style concept for uh, tech sofa so that may happen soon so stay tuned What are the next big improvements that you've been expecting for phones that have launched in 2021 and got a hype and what will be launching this year anything like hardware improvement features or anything like that i think the biggest fail has been foldable phones and as much as samsung or anyone else would like to tell you these phones are not doing well because of the simple fact that it adds another layer of uh, complexity to using a device the reason why the first iphone and the iphone series in general was so popular was because it simplified using a device you pick up the phone and you touch with your finger and when android started to happen the reason why it picked up more than symbian or blackberry or any of the other operating systems was it followed the same principle you pick up the phone and you get your content immediately uh, foldables i don't think is the future even though they will experiment with this category a lot and uh, you will see tablets that fold into phones and phones that fold into tablets and there's always unique devices but i don't think it's going to become like the big thing uh, that's my personal opinion i could be completely wrong uh, as far as hardware improvements are concerned we we've, we've seen massive improvements on display technology we've seen massive improvements in cameras you've got 108 megapixel cameras they have 1 inch type sensors in there they're not actually 1 inch but they called 1 inch sensors and you have everything happening i think the biggest thing would be uh some sort of free roam wireless charging where you have the phone in your hand and it's charging uh some sort of battery life improvements uh, some interesting thing like that or uh integrated devices uh, biotechnology stuff like that should be interesting but this year i feel it's going to be more of the same uh, better processors better cameras more uh, battery features maybe faster wireless charging things like that i don't think we are at a point where we'll see a big change in technology yet Okay how many team members are there in the iGan team when will MacBook Pro M1 Max versus Beast 2.0 comparison video come iPhone 13 Pro versus Samsung new ultra flagship compare comparison so that's actually three questions in one i'll answer the actually <laughs> uh, i think the iGan team is actually full of all of you guys everyone who uh, watches our content follows us on social media everyone included um but as far as creators in our team we we are actually a very small team post the pandemic and we are actively hiring and we want to grow the team to uh, its full strength back again so if you have a skill in video editing in uh, reporting uh, researching technology 
और प्रोडक्शन लाइटिंग साउंड वट एल्स डू वी नीड इफ यू आर अ कैमरा असिस्टेंट एनी थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर वी आर लुकिंग फॉर मैनेजर्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर सोशल मीडिया मैनेजर्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर ग्राफिक डिजाइनर्स वी आर हायरिंग अ टन ऑफ पीपल सो इफ यू हैव एनी ऑफ दोज रियल स्किल्स जॉब्स एट आई गैन डॉट इन इफ यू हैव एन इंटरेस्ट फॉर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वो प्ले विद द लेटेस्ट वॉन्स प्लीज डोंट अप्लाई वी डोट वॉन्ट Do you think smartphones are becoming boring? No, I don't think smartphones are becoming boring. They've got interesting things happening still. Can we see more car videos from you? I think we've already answered that. Next week you'll see some car videos. One audio file to another. According to all the headphones that you've used, which is a lot by far is the best. And what's one audio device you are excited about in 2022? From consumer grade headphones, I feel I have uh, the Bang and Olufsen H9Is. they are uh, one of the most interesting pair of headphones because the noise cancellation is really good and uh, the audio quality is really impressive battery life all of those things are good and also the apple airpods max they actually did surprise me with the kind of sound quality they have but they only work best with an iphone uh, the bang and olufsen headphones they're actually nicer they they don't feel as for the lack of a better word they don't feel as cold as the airpods max because the, you look at the airpods max they look very very cyberpunk i feel and whereas the bang and olufsen headphones they look very warm and they look very uh, welcoming somehow i don't know why so i feel that uh, those are more comfortable and these are more like if you want like loud sound and like the sound quality on the airpods max is actually really good as well and i was i I've, i've i've been surprised at how much i choose to pick those up uh, because of their instant connectivity with all the apple devices that i have and because of the low or the no lag nature of the audio connectivity when can we expect an updated studio tour house tour and how are the poshas i just mentioned how my poshas are studio tour we can make an updated studio tour but not a lot has changed since the last time we made a studio tour so most of the things are same uh like i said some surprises coming later this year so you can stay tuned for that house tour i don't know if i want to do a house tour i don't know want to i don't want to tell you where i sleep what the hell how are the poshas poshas are both down waiting for parts from germany posha germany send me parts warranty parts and uh, that completes the list of the ton of questions i don't know how many we finally kept in the video but hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these questions and uh, liked the answers if you didn't no problem i don't care you can hit that dislike nobody can see it you can hit it but nobody can see it i can see it but nobody can see it nobody knows that this video is not nice it was actually nice because only you can see his likes okay it's time to announce the winners let's not waste time i need to open list number 2 uh, let's go to list number 2 and pick out the winners <laughs> so for the sony earphones the wf 1000 xm4s uh, we have uh, four winners one from twitter one from instagram and two from youtube so twitter is mayank bhargav congratulations you have won yourself a pair of sony tws earphones the latest ones we'll be reaching out to you on twitter so stay tuned for that on instagram I've actually seen this guy's profile and you sir Crimson Arts India have won a pair of Sony WF 1000 XM4s so don't forget to hit me in the DMs because I need you to come to Delhi and make some art for me and think of it as a bribe towards that I'm bribing you to come to Delhi to make some art from YouTube now a navy guy you have won yourself a pair of WF 1000 XM4s and uh, dilpreet singh you have won yourself a pair of uh, wf 1000 xm fours as far as the one plus giveaway is concerned we are giving away a one plus 9 rt and the winner for that is kavit ghosh you have won a pair not a pair a single one plus 9 rt and it should be headed your way we'll be reaching out to all of these people and that's it for uh, this video also we are doing more giveaways on instagram forgot to mention that so go follow us on instagram as well as twitter we have twitter specific instagram specific giveaways happening that will not be mentioned in this video so go there and uh, follow those uh, channels we are starting off with one giveaway today and uh, we have lots of giveaways coming in the next week as well so stay tuned for that and uh, if you like this video like it if you dislike it then like i said nobody will see it to forget to hit the subscribe button the bell notification icon with all notifications turned on so that you get notified if you like the AMA let us know in the comments below if you liked it and we might do another one soon enough 
This has been Bharat. You have been watching Aigyan. And I'll see you in the next video.